Hi everyone. Well, today I want to make a pouch um, to go in my needle um, or sewing junk journal. And so I printed out some of these background papers that we have on our Etsy shop. And uh, I'm going to pick one of them and make a pouch so that I can put some ephemera inside the pouch um, inside the journal. Join me and together we'll make this lovely file folder. Okay, I've decided on this piece, which is a collage piece with receipts and bits and bobs on. I think that will go quite nicely in the journal. So I want about three quarters of it for the pouch. The rest I can use as a pocket. So I'm going to cut across there. Just get my paper cutter. Uh, yes, about there, I think. So I'm going to um, fold this up and have a, a small um, lip there, but what I'm going to do first um, is I'm going to stitch around here on the sewing machine, because the rest of the time I'll probably be gluing, um, just to, as it's going into the sewing journal, just to give it a little bit of... Um, you know stitched edge okay so I'll go away and do that okay well I've stitched around here now I use quite a long stitch so it shows up and I I picked out a, a gray dark gray um, and white on the other side so now I want to fold up the um, the paper and I'm going to try and do this on camera and not mess it up. I've made a little mark where I want the flap just about there. My stitch line is fairly straight. So I'm going to, I haven't got a scoring board so I'm going to use my ruler. I hope that's even. I mean I had toyed with the idea of having a ragged edge um, but for this one I'm, I'm going to have a straight edge so I'll try a ragged edge on another one just so that I can ink it up and it look a little bit like torn fabric I think that would be quite nice so then this one I'm going to fold up just below that line. Right. 
Yeah, so that looks okay. Now I'm going to ink up the edges and have a think about um, how I want the flap to look when it's opened up because it's quite white at the moment because I've printed this on white card and although the insides won't be seen um, that flap will be so I'm going to have a little rummage through my um, paper scraps or even fabric scraps and see what I can come up with then I'll come back I'll ink around the edges as well okay well I've inked up the edges there that's looking rather nice and I've been thinking about the inside of the flap I did have a piece that I cut off here I was going to put that on there but it's I printed it on card so it's a bit stiff to go on there so I had this piece of photocopy paper uh, that stopped printing halfway through so I'm going to put that image on it's sort of a, a background collage so I'll cut that out to size and then just stick that on I'm going to put a nameplate on. Now I was going to put it on the middle and I'm going to put it on before I put the paper on here so that the brads are covered up. It doesn't really matter but as I can do that I may as well. Um, but I'm also going to put a button on to have a tie for this um, and I thought well if I have it in the middle it's going to interfere with the button so I'm going to offset the, the nameplate and include that little bit of writing in there so I think that will look quite nice to have it offset and I'm going to sew the button on with some coloured thread and I'll do that also before I start putting it together. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew the button on. I'm going to put the nameplate on and I'll use my sharp brad here to make some holes and then put the brads through. And then when I've done that, I'm going to cut this out and stick that on so that the flap isn't just white. So I'll do all those bits and then I'll come and show you. Just one more thing, I did have a strip left over from cutting this off and I thought about making a button out of that one um, ra rather like I did with with these sort of putting three cards together I showed you in the last video um, but I'm not sure it'll stand out enough against the background because it's from the same paper so I think I'm going to stick with the the buttons I made previously but I will make buttons from this strip because I think it's rather rather nice the other thing I considered with this piece of card was to make a little pocket on the back and cut out a, um, and, and I could then sew that on. But this has got such nice images on it with this with the stamps. I think if I put this over the top, I'll miss out on seeing those and I, I quite like those so for this instance I won't do that but on another pouch you could easily sew a pocket on for more ephemera so I'll do that on another pouch okay sewn the button in 
I use some wool thread that I've got um, with a big needle and I just did a couple of stitches through there and I put the um, nameplate on so that's looking rather good and I'm just going to put some tape over these pieces just so that they don't catch and uh, cause a problem when you're putting things in the pouch. I'll put a piece over the brads, although I'm covering that with some paper. Oh, make a mess of that. paper I've already cut to size so I'm just going to stick that there. Again you could round the edges of these before you stitch if you want that look. I'm going to be making a few more of these so I'm going to do do them several ways. Nice to have variety, isn't it? And we can always enjoy making more and more of these things. And they always come up slightly differently. Well, mine do anyway. <laughs> okay. I think that'll give a nice look to the flap when it's opened. Okay, well I think I could do a little bit of trimming, but what I'm going to do glue there. I'm going to just ink around I think I will still need to trim it a bit. Oh, wrong one. I go through lots of glue sticks. I've got to give it time to dry a bit and then I'll trim it. Okay, well the next thing I'm going to do is, um, because I don't want the pouch to be flat, otherwise I could have stitched straight up and then just had a like an envelope, but I want it to have a sort of a, to be able to open it. And so I'm going to put a concertina edge to it. 
and I'll just get some paper and show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so you just need a piece of paper that's going to fill in this side bit here. And I've roughly measured, it'll need a bit of trimming. And all you need to do is fold it back and forth, rather like the game Consequences. And uh, just keep doing that until the you've got enough. Just carry on for a minute. And you can make it a thinner fold depending on how big your pouch is. I might make, I need to make this a bit thinner. So then this will, when I've cut it to size, fit on this edge and then on that edge and then you'll be able to open up the pouch and put more things in. Okay, so I'm going to need to make two of those and then cut it to size. And I'm going to stick it down with some double sided tape. So I'll get those ready and then I'll come back and show you. So I'm going to fit some folders in there as well once we've got the, the sides completed. Now one added thing when you're folding is to make sure you've got the same amount of folds each side of the pouch otherwise it's going to be a bit wonky. Now the way I did that was I, I folded a large piece and then cut it in half so they were equal. And I've taken this out of a out of that uh, needlework book that I got from the charity shop. So it's got some nice embroidery pictures. So that'll show on the side as well. I mean, it doesn't matter. You could just have newspaper. So um, I'm going to not newspaper. Well, you could use newspaper, of course. I'm going to cut some strips of double-sided tape and then I'll come back and we'll assemble them in there. Right, well, that's a sticky moment. I've put the double-sided tape on and I'm just being careful to make sure I stick this one on the same as I have that side, like they're all even. It's marvellous this, but um, I get terribly fouled up with it. I think that's it. Now you've got to keep it away from the seam there so that you can fold, fold up the uh, card. I hope that's going to be okay. Yes, yeah, so. So now all that remains is to take this piece off. And stick it to the other side. I'm doing them together because uh, okay, here goes.
Right, and when you're certain, you can press it down. So there we are. We have our little file folder. Looking rather, rather nice. Now I'm going to make some files to go inside. Um, and I'll have them so that you can lift them out with the ephemera in. So I'm just going to use some paper from this book I picked up from the charity shop. I just want fairly plain a plain page. And I'll need to cut this slightly smaller than the folder and then I can either have it so that it's a little pocket inside like a little envelope and I could stitch around that would be quite nice or I can just have them this way with a tag on. I could use some of these up have cut off my collage so that they can just pull them out that way. But I'll just cut a few up in um, and see which one looks best and then I'll come back. I could cut a semicircle in that as well. There's so many things you could could do with these and have them all different. Okay, I'll go and make some files to go in and then we'll pop them in and see what they look like. Okay, having looked at the pouch, I realise that the the white is going to show when you take files out. So I've cut one just that slots inside from from the book a piece of paper and I'm going to slot it in and with the double sided tape I'm going to stick, um, stick that one in so it's permanent and then that will cover the white up and I'll do the same this end So there's a permanent file in the front and the back and then I'm going to make some pouches um, just to slip into the middle files that, and they'll be removable but as you see when I if I make them all removable you can you, see the white so I thought I'd make two permanent one either end so I'm going to do that and then I'll, I'll cut them all up, ink the edges, I'm going to stitch around some of the pouches and then when I've finished those bits I'll come back and show you how it looks. Little um, cotton reel charm on the closure and just put a string with a loop around the button. And then we have our concertina and I've got it filled with little pouches so the one at the front this one comes out I've just put a tag in there I'm going to fill it with more ephemera when I put it in the sewing journal this one I made the envelope and I used the um, page border uh, just to get that sort of lace effect along the edge of the flap and then I stitched up here and in here I put the little buttons that I've made
so that goes in the center this one and I put a tab on with using the buttons so I thought that looked rather nice and I've stitched up the file folders again and that's got a little tag in and then that's the permanent file in there and I've just hooked one of the little mini envelopes that I made a little while back I just hooked it over the top there because I thought that looked rather nice and there's a artist card in there as well so you can put quite a few things in there and I can fill up some more tags and things in there and uh, closes nicely oh, I'll probably do it that way actually so I'm very pleased with that one that'll look nice in my journal and I hope you make one and let me know how it turns out I'd love to see them so join me again. I'm going to be making a fold over notepad next time. So see you on the next video. Bye for now.